would like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth, Coppin State University, June 15th, NAACP Urban League Hispanic Chamber Mayoral Candidates Forum, Kim Truhart. How are you? Hey, Donnie, I'm doing great. Good. We've got Mr. Wilson up there on the stage, Frank Carnaway, Otis Rowley, Catherine Pugh, Carl Stokes, Jody Landers, uh, Stephanie Rollins, Blake the Mayor is not present. What are your thoughts? What have you heard? I'm not sure why our current mayor is not here. Um, I, I think it's a little disrespectful that we're trying to find out what her new term will bring for us and she's not willing to share that with us. Well, well not I yet. I mean, when, you, when you're the incumbent, you know, you can kind of... No, but this is the time. This is the time the people have set for her to present her ideas. Okay, right? but, uh, so, but, so why does she get to dictate that? Not us? Okay, well, of the people who are here, what can we say of... I think they're great. I think, I think the oh, fact okay, that... You got one, two, three, you got six people up there. Right. Who, I, who won? Um, I'm not sure that anybody won. Okay, and, and, who and, resonated? And, and, well, I like what Otis is saying. I, I have some concerns about some of the, the, the just cut property tax in half concepts that can I'm hearing about. Can it be done? About. Do you believe um, it can be done, when, cut in half? When the moon, the stars, and Jupiter align, absolutely it can be done. Oh, yeah. so this but, is but not a in today's And not in today's economic recession. You know, in order for us to grow property owners, they got to have jobs first. So you can't pay a mortgage I without thought, a job. I, I thought with a recession, jobs would be more of the foci or focus of the different candidates. But platform. they have not talked about jobs um, in the detail that they need to. I mean, if you're renting, you could care less about property tax. Exactly. Well, the other issue is that only 44% of the black population in Baltimore owns homes today. So more, more, an issue more pertinent to the black community is jobs. Absolutely. Because with a job, you can then buy a new home. Um, right now, we're looking at at an opportunity for these candidates to really do something critically needed in our neighborhoods. Um, and, and I've only heard two of them use the word neighborhoods, okay? Um, uh, Senator Pugh and Otis Raleigh. Okay, so, you know, when you start investing in our neighborhoods, investing in our children, those pay back. And right now, we're not getting that payback that we all expect. Well, I mean, a lot of the neighborhoods, East Baltimore, West Baltimore, uh, are saying that they haven't seen any uh, development as was going on through the 90s with the Empowerment Zone. They haven't seen anything since 99. Exactly. exactly. Ten, ten years. Right. A decade, nothing. You know, one of the things we can do in our neighborhoods is there are businesses there and they're struggling. Give them some incentive to continue to operate because we see more of them closing every day because they can't survive. So give them an incentive not only to stay in the neighborhood but to also hire. You know, give them an incentive to hire somebody from the hood. Um, in terms of public education, who has resonated in your mind? None of them. I haven't heard them Keep talk. Alonzo, let Alonzo go. In, you know, Review they talk. Alonzo. I mean, what, what, what is the deal on school superintendent? What's your take? I, regardless of who the superintendent is, we have to hold that person accountable. And our board school board should be doing that for us holding Are the they? ceo no they're not they currently have a budget in this year's for next year for fall of 1.6 million dollars which is five percent more than they got last year okay and i don't know what they're going to spend the 1.6 million dollars on do you um at this point i'm saying they are our eyes and ears, the school board. They have to set. Supposedly. Right, but th I, I've seen, but, there is I one mean, report that I've seen out of our school board. Or could board. they be the eyes and ears of politicians? Absolutely they are. They're not ours. If they're representing me, I expect an annual assessment well, report. Well, initially they to, go to represent us, but then they start playing they this forget. democratic team ball. Uh, yeah, well, one of the things that I've asked, one of the questions that I hope they ask is, you all talk accountability, 
okay? How do you establish accountability of the school board membership and then them in turn holding the CEO, regardless of whether it's Alonzo, how do you hold him accountable? I'd like to see goals, measurable goals set for every year of, for our progress. Who wins if the election is today? Um, Jody Landers. <laughs> Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.